All right, so we're following a lot of races tonight, but we certainly want to follow uh, Senator John Bozeman, who was just announced uh, as the winner there. Mm -hmm. If you remember, he was the incumbent there. So let's take a, a quick look at some of those numbers. John Bozeman, 58 percent. Natalie James, the Democrat there, 38 percent. Kenneth Cates, 2 percent of the vote. So. Uh, Lance, how are we feeling about uh, this U.S. Senate race here? You know, that's kind of on trend with the kind of numbers that John Bozeman mm -hmm. have, has pulled in the past in terms of those percentages. Uh, it's a little higher than what it's been. Well, actually, no. It's, uh, you know, in... in um, in 2016, he pulled 59.8% of the vote. This was at the end of the night when everything was counted, of course. There's still a lot of vote out, of course, but this is this is about probably what is expected uh, for, for Senator Bozeman tonight. Uh, and it's gonna be a big, you know, if John Bozeman does win this race as, as, as you know, as, as probably expected, or as the numbers tend to suggest so far, um, he will be in line to chair the powerful. Uh, oh, and they have called it. That's right. Yeah, we got okay. a check mark there. I'm, I'm having trouble keeping up with all the well, calls that are coming no so surprise. fast tonight I, that I did not expect yeah. to be called so quickly. But uh, but Bozeman is, is in line to chair that Senate uh, Agriculture, Nutrition, uh -huh. and Forestry Committee, uh, which is among Huge. the most powerful of committees yeah. in D.C. Uh, and very important to a state like Arkansas, an agricultural state like Arkansas. And did you know that, of course, Bozeman defeated Senator Blanche Lincoln, the Democrat, right. in 2010. With the when help she of Sarah Huckabee Sanders. That's yeah. right. When she was chairman of the Senate Ag Committee at the time. Uh, and so, there was a lot of pushback. That's right. And yeah. anger over the fact that Arkansas lost some clout, which we now have back. But now we will presumably uh, have that back. Uh, by the way, Natalie James, a published right. author. She's yeah. a poet mm -hmm. and a consultancy. Mm -hmm. So Arkansas had a really viable candidate yeah. there, but early results produce a I winner. mean, yep. I, I'm not sure if I'm surprised because a fun fact about Bozeman, he played football for the University so of Arkansas. That's right, so right. So Razorback right there. So yeah. uh -huh. not sure if that, that never played hurts. a part. It never you know, hurts. But, yep. I mean, we're talking about somebody with a, a long political uh, kind of timeline here. So That's not right. surprised right. too yep. much there. Yep.